Hello and welcome back. So in today's video we are going to do another AWS lab. So this lab is about, no, not this one. This is the one we did yesterday. So we're going to do the second one, Introduction to AWS Identity and Access Management. So the lab diagram is not what I remember. So for this maybe these accounts are in there but you can see it, it has no mention of user one two and three so we do work with these but not these so this diagram is not accurate so let's go ahead start the lab and get a peek inside the um console pa panel welcome to this hands-on lab okay yep <clears throat> so basically this video uh, over here uh it's like they do it for you and you can like watch them and do it in the panel or you can click on guide and just go through the <clears throat> this stuff i recommend watch the video and do it sidewise then go back read this and see if you can follow along because in real world uh, you will have just documentation to follow through. You won't have this uh, video, but I do recommend going through the video because in video, well, when he's talking, he's explaining stuff. While in uh, the guide, it just, hey, do this, do that, like to the point. All right, so labs should be up. You can see it's already, no, that's not seven minutes, but anyways, let's go. <clears throat> these are my credentials that I need to be putting in there <clears throat> all right so I am and user so let's go here nope actually let's go here so we can see we have three user groups and we have four users. So I stand corrected. The other users that that lab diagram has it. I didn't. I had not seen that when I was doing it for the first time. So these are the users. If we go to user groups, <clears throat> you can see in a minute over here how many user each has. So it's not like there are some user theirs are missing from there. It's going to be much faster if we click on each one and show you this will take time. So you can see users, no users in here. EC2 sport, no users in here. And no users in here. So it's not like that some users are inside the groups and they're not showing up. So all of users will show up here. <clears throat> now let's go. And see what uh, what is required so it's a user one does not have any permission assigned to uh, if I can go to the lab diagram right here let's open the lab diagram so you can see just ignore this uh, left hand part so user one has only read at read only access to s3 user two has only read only access to EC2 meaning that only to EC2 nothing else and even for the EC2 it has only read only for user 3 it can view start and stop EC2 meaning that user 1 and 2 they cannot go and poke into S3 at all uh, on the other hand user 1 if I log in through I cannot go into check and check out EC2 instances and all that now if we go back to our console can we check EC2 and see if we have anything in there running so we have one instance running so later on we'll check so uh, guide I can actually make it sideways because we're not we are only concerning this half so access it's a security connection tab so we go back to our IAM <clears throat> 
users users one or user one and for the permission we have to add any but if we go and click on security credentials so we can see it is does not have any SSH signing certificate ETC MFA SSH key there is nothing and for the access advisor is for if somebody logs in and whatever they do it gets logged in here like what they did and all that what services they access etc so yesterday we talked about ARN Amazon resource name so everything inside AWS has a resource name so this is the user's resource name right here its path is just slash forward slash and it was created 12th of May 2022 <clears throat> all right so now we're gonna go explore the groups we already did that actually we were uh, while we did that so now EC2 admin now we're gonna start here this bar So if we go to user groups, you can see EC admin, blah, blah, blah. And now, we're gonna click user group, EC2 admin, permissions, and we have the policy here. <clears throat> so, JSON and you can see what kind of action it can take we can start instance stop instance and it is allowed elastic load balances allow list metrics get metric status etc is allowed auto scaling is allowed so these are the permission for it we can cancel it <coughs> Now if we go back to user groups, we can go to EC2 support right here and we can click on permissions. So this, if you remember, the other one had just a plus sign so that was the policy made by us. This one has a, an icon. So this is Amazon manage, AWS manage uh, policy. Again, you can see it's easy to describe, mean it can list the EC2 and anything else, it's not allowed. <clears throat> Even though you see a lot, lot of here, but these are the list matrix ETC, only read only access. Like you can list them, you cannot do anything else like stopping them or terminating them and all that. All right it even say read only access read only access right here so for this list a lot it describe and listing them is allowed but anything else is not so now we're gonna you add these groups uh, users to the proper groups because these uh, right now uh, we have the groups and we have the users but uh, those users they are not in a group so meaning they won't have any access uh, it's, it wants user 1 to be an EC2 support, user 2 to be an EC2 admin, and user 3 to be an EC, uh, EC2 admin. User 3 has to be uh, no, it should be the third one. <clears throat> EC2 support and EC2 admin. All right, so let's go to you. So there are two ways of doing it. We can either go to the EC2 support, uh, and if we go to user, we can click on groups, add user to a group, and we can select here. This is one way. But in there, it's described as if we go to groups, then click on a group. For example, this one, 
user one needs to be in EC2 support so that's this one and then we click on add user and we can select the user so you can see EC2 support right here user 2 needs to be in it Oh, user uh, it has to be user one I was wondering about that ah I made a mistake so let's remove user so s3 support is user one EC2 support is user two so user two <coughs> Again, user groups, S3 support is user one. <clears throat> and finally, admin is user three. Now, if we go, we will see <coughs> that S3 has the user one in it and if we go ahead and log in with user one that's what it, it's saying log in with user one try to create a bucket we're gonna do just that so we here user one let me copy the password from the right side here click on s3 and where is the buckets create bucket we click on create bucket so since we are you can check side by side here uh, not here here so you can see s3 support user one so user one is able to create a bucket right now I can create it so I'm gonna say s3 bucket 05122022 let's see if I can make this bucket I'm gonna just leave everything as create bucket permission so why the reason is that I the permission I had were only to read only access so I cannot create it I can only go and check them out so if I click on buckets I can list them meaning I do have access up to this point but anything afterwards I cannot <clears throat> but do I have access to EC2 that we talked very uh, earlier in the video and I should not I don't have access to instances now what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit out of here um, <clears throat> open a new window let's go user 2 password and let's go <clears throat> okay now can I go to s3 should not be able to not even the very first one I don't have access can I go to EC2 I can see the instances but for EC second one can I do anything else with the instance can I stop it fail to stop the instance reason I for user 2 if we go back in here you can see user 2 the only permission it has is read only access so it can list it check all the instances but anything afterwards cannot do let's go ahead and go on with the final one if I exit out of there and try it one more time 
dash three. <clears throat> so this is a different third user. Now third user has full access to EC2, but no access shouldn't shouldn't have any access to S3 or for that matter any other thing. Uh, so let's go and see VPC. I just want to check. I am confused about that because VPC is through EC2. So if you have access to EC2, you should have access to EC uh, VPC as well. So let's go EC2. Now, <clears throat> if I click over here, ah, it's running. I should be able to stop it. <clears throat> And I have a green successfully stop. If I click on instances, it should be saying stopping. And after like maybe five seconds, it will kind of say stopped. All right, so this is it for the <clears throat> lab. I hope it has helped you. If it has, please read, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in the next one.